hey guys welcome to another video so this is the first uh, question or use case that we're taking up for record triggered flows so this is something that i took from uh, trailhead okay now for the first one let's read it okay now when an opportunity is created or updated okay so first thing that is clear is that we have to work on opportunity object okay and uh, we have to hit the flow or we have to you know, execute the flow whenever it is created or updated okay that much is clear now it says if the opportunity is high value and its status is closed one what does it mean by high value that means if the amount is you know greater than a certain value so in trailhead uh, it is i think taken 25000 so we are going to take that as well so if the opportunity amount is 20, greater than 25000 and its status is closed one so those of you who don't know the status is a pick list field okay and if its status is closed one a closed one uh, value is selected then what we have to do is we have to create a draft contract okay now let's hop into our uh, flow builder okay so we are going to create a new flow okay now as usual it is a record triggered flow we are going to say create now it asks us select object obviously we know that it is opportunity and a record is created or updated now the entry conditions so what happens is that whenever if we just you know select these and we like move forward continuing with the build of our flow what this flow is going to do is it's going to you know take all the flows whether they are created or updated and it's going to process them no matter uh, if their opportunity amount or the status they are going to it is going to process them what i mean to say is that it's going to not look at it's not going to look at the opportunity amount and the status field so to you know specify which opportunity we have to uh, we have to take in our flow which opportunity we have to process we have to set some entry conditions okay so i'm going to say all conditions are met first is that the amount we are given that it should be a high value opportunity so i'm going to say it should be greater than 25000 okay next condition is the status oh, okay so the status i think so it's stage name okay so status is stage name it's equal to closed one okay here it is now when to run the flow for updated records every time a record is updated and meets the condition requirements only when a record is updated to meet the condition requirements so i'm gonna say that uh, okay only when a record is updated or it doesn't matter basically what it's gonna say is every time a record is updated and meets the uh, condition requirements no we have to run it when a you know record is updated to meet the condition requirements it's more precise i guess next the optimize the flow for now here we have to you know listen carefully fast field updates are equivalent to before save changes like before the record is saved or updated before it is reflected in the database we are going to perform some actions next the actions and related records it's equivalent to after save as i said the documentation here is absolutely amazing you can read that okay if you like have any questions you can read this these are very simple uh, written in very simple languages okay as it is says this high performance flow runs before the record is saved to the database okay now this more flexible flow runs after the record is saved to the database so what happens if we select like so for this case i'm going to select action related records but just to show you what happens if i select fast field updates so let's just select fast field updates now suppose i have to like update a related record okay so opportunities related to account and i have to update that related account so if i click on update related records see this here because this flow runs before a record is saved you can only update the record that triggered the flow that means i'm only allowed to update that opportunity record that triggered the flow not any related records because it is not yet saved in the database so that's why i'm gonna you know take fast uh, sorry action related records for now we're going to take example of fast field updates as well 
in the upcoming videos so for now i'm going to select this and let's just delete this so you can copy cut and delete this element here now let's just review what have we have done we have selected opportunity object and uh, we are going to trigger the flow whenever a record is created or updated we have set the entry criteria is perfect now what we have to create is we have to create a contract so let's just go to uh, sorry create records i'm going to say create draft contract okay now how many records to create um, we have to create only one record how to set the record fields use all the values from a record do we have any record here no you can check on the resources we don't have any record this is the one that we are creating so we are going to click on this use separate resources and literal values okay that this essentially means that do we do you have the values in the like in your flow do we already have the values whether it is in resource or any sort of in the flow no we don't so we are going to say use separate resources and literal values i'm going to select the object i'm going to say contract and for field i'm going to say account id and value would be so if you you know scroll down you can see these global variables these global variables are like constant for your flow okay now this record as you can see this dollar record it represents the record which is being processed the opportunity record that triggered this flow so i'm going to say take this record take uh, account id from this uh, this opportunity record okay now i'm going to say id here so what i'm essentially doing is that we took some uh, we took contract object we are going to create a contract object and we are going to set fields of this contract so one field is account id how i uh, took the value uh, i selected the record that triggered this flow and on that opportunity we have a lookup of account we took that account and we took its id next the i think it's the status field if i yes it's the status field and it should be draft that's it our contract object is ready to be created okay let's close this let's save this flow now i'm going to name it as uh, draft contract for opportunity okay now you know although this advanced settings they don't uh, have that sort of use that much but if you want you can you know just look at these and if you want to change anything any sort of data here you can do that but as for now let's just save this flow now as i said in the earlier video that if you don't activate it nothing would happen this trigger won't work so but before activating we should debug it okay so debug is like we are going to just run it roughly here checking if everything is working or not so here i'm just going to skip the start condition requirements the high one and the stage name as closed one i'm going to skip those requirements and let's see do we have any opportunity here uh just go to the opportunities here let's see yes so let's just copy this see if we can have this here so for some reason it is not being shown okay so okay let's just skip this for now i'm going to show this debug in some another video for for some reason it's not working now what usually happens is if you search for some opportunity here that is saved in your database it's going to mimic the flow for you if as if that record was created and the flow sort of worked on it okay so let's just skip it activate it so we're going to test for both create and update okay so first of all let's just go to any record so i think this is greater than 25000 but it's already closed one so i'm going to select this one as you can see the amount is well greater than 25000 so i'm just going to say select i'm just going to go to details do we have any stage here this is stage 
and there it is closed one now let's see if it works just make sure that this is activated okay now let's save this okay do we have a contract let's see sorry about that so let's just see if we have a contract for it now first look at the so the account is Brian 456 okay yes we have it the draft status as you can see brand 456 okay so it's working for the updation part now let's create some opportunity new opportunity amount it should be greater than 25,000 close date let it be today stage name should be closed one opportunity should be name should be test opportunity okay account name this is also important so account let's just create a new account or leave it we are not going to create account new let's just see if we have any it's not showing this lookup thing is not working let's create new account okay now account name should be test party okay i think that's enough let's save this okay i think everything is good yes this should also create a contract draft contract for us okay let's go to this refresh this and there you go so it's working fine so that's it for this video i'll see you in another video until then take care and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up thank you